Hi, welcome in. I am Trucker Rudy from Canada, and to find out what we are up to today, stay tuned right after the intro. <laughs> Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome into the Trucker Rudy show today. It is a fantastic morning except for its 94% humidity. <laughs> Everything is just sticky, sticky, sticky. But it's at 4.42 in the morning. In about three minutes we are out of here. Yeah. So it's an early start as you can see it's dark out here. But uh, I wanted to get an early start so that way I could get over to the TA that I want to get to because that TA is always full. I've been there plenty of time enough to know that that TA there is pretty crazy there sometimes at night. So I want to get there early so I can get me a parking spot. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we do get a parking spot up there. And let's get down down the road and have ourselves a fantastic day. And thanks for joining us. And be sure to watch the rest of the video because you don't know what could be in it. So we'll see you in a little while. Alrighty guys, it is early morning. The sun is finally up. And we are putting the hammer down. We just had to go through the uh, toll booth up here. I think we're getting closer to Oklahoma. I'm pretty sure this is the toll booth that will be the last one in Kansas. Pretty certain that we will be in Oklahoma here very shortly. It cost us $26.25, I believe it was. Let me have a look at the receipt. Yep, $26.25. To go the, this whole stretch there from Topeka, I guess we are, I don't know, Willington, Kansas, that's what it, that's what my GPS says where we are at. It uh, rained here earlier this morning, got a little bit of a rain. Pretty much looks like it's behind me now. Had a few drizzles here and there, but other than that, it's behind me. So, we are planning to go to Oklahoma City. I'll probably fuel up over there and have me a shower. I need a shower already. Much needed shower. Yep. It's good that they got a little bit of a rain up here. You can always use a little bit of a rain every once in a while, you know. But let's have ourselves an awesome day and see what uh, we will be able to show you today. Well, guys, we have just entered Oklahoma. Oh, a truck okay to bypass way station. Oh, I love. Scale up there and 
obviously I didn't have the pre-scale on the, on the camera there, I didn't turn on the camera on time, but I got the bypass, so that's awesome. Yep, we got about 100 miles to Oklahoma City, I believe. Yep, and I think I'm just going to go straight up to there. And then I'll fuel up and do my thing. Probably have me a bite to eat, have my half an hour off, take a shower. I already have 400 kilometers behind me. So I've been working hard today. Which was the plan originally anyways get up early, work real hard to try and get down to Dallas, and that way I'd have, I have a few extra hours this evening, I can uh, render videos and do all that stuff, but uh, don't really need to be in uh, Dallas till tomorrow at 9, and uh, I want to to be at the truck stop tonight early because I'm scared that there's not going to be that many parking spots at that TA. And that's one of the closest, uh, I don't know if it's the really the closest, closest parking spot I could get, but one of the closest with the biggest truck stops at least, you know. It's a TA truck stop. And, uh, yeah, I just want to stop over there for tonight. Anyways, we got a rest area coming up here to the left. Looks like it's to the left. Oh, actually it isn't a rest area. It looks like it's a truck stop up there. I forgot, we're out of uh, Kansas. No, Kansas has got that thing where they split the highway apart. And then they got a rest area in the center. I remember this is a big casino here right across the border. I think I showed that before. I believe I did. Pretty sure that's the same uh, same casino. We'll have to see though, but I'm pretty darn sure it is. But it's finally clearing up. And I just recently there after I left that toll good I got another shower there. No, this is not the big casino I was thinking. No, definitely not. It's a small casino. I don't know where I saw that. I, maybe that's the one there into Texas. Maybe, or just going out of Oklahoma. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. I forget where it was, but. Anyways, we're cruising along and having a fantastic day. Oh, yeah. Trying to have a good day no matter what day it is. Doesn't always work that way, but we're trying anyways. We are just outside of Oklahoma City and apparently uh, just around the mile marker 141 there is a accident. Apparently the right lane is being blocked. So this is the uh, cause of it. Yeah. Well, you got it hanging out of your right rear trailer tire. Got a bunch of traffic up here now. Got something hanging out of your right rear trailer tire. Guys, sorry, I'm listening so, to the CB radio. See what's going okay, on. Southbound, versatile, they're just going past 143. Yeah, those are just going on. Oh, okay. I'm little car hauling behind here. I can see something. Going around and around, I didn't know it was supposed to be there or not. Yeah, yeah it's for when it's full right. trailers in the winter, so you can tell if the wheels are turning or not. Oh, yeah, kind of a neat idea. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, listening to the CB long. radio. You know. That's why I like a CB radio, you know. You can uh, talk to people and find out what's going on. And, they said the right lane is blocked, so that's why I'm in the left lane. You know, trying to be in the right lane, so... Don't get caught up in the right lane, you know. Well, looks like we are coming up to the accident there in a little bit, but... Uh, seems like these four-wheelers are all in the eager to cut in here and... Try and get into the line, you know. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 
motorcycle accident up there. Yep. Yeah, I bet he didn't have a helmet on either. Oh, he didn't have a helmet on either. Yeah, right. right. yeah, these four wheelers are all trying to cut right to the end of the line. They already put a sign up there back there already that the uh, right lane is closed and these idiots are all trying to get into here into the last minute, you know. I don't know what their problem is all the time. You can see this for miles already, it's backed up, you know, and then they put a sign up. You know, right lane closed, but yet they don't want to get into the left lane. But that's the way it goes. Apparently there was a motorcycle accident up here and they're thinking that the guy died. That's what the word was. I don't know if that's the fact or not, but... I guess we'll find out maybe later, maybe not, I don't know, you sometimes you never hear about it again, especially if I don't check the news or don't go well, on the internet. Uh, what kind of nature of it is it, is it, uh, you know, what company is it? Alright, a, a lot of emergency vehicles there, that's for sure. Apparently he got in there with a big truck up there. That's what I heard on the radio. He said it was an interstate truck. We'll know here in a minute or two. Looks like they got almost all lanes blocked. We gotta kinda go on the shoulder up here to uh, kinda get around it. There is a lot of emergency vehicles here, that's for sure. <laughs> bad. That for sure does not look the best. A lot of Christmas lights. <laughs> yep, must be terrible, especially for that truck driver getting involved in an accident like that. Let's see, what do we got here? Motorcycle lays. Oh boy. Uh, he's got a blue. Uh, uh, he's got a blue tarp over him. He was laying right over there. Yeah. He certainly didn't make it. He got a blue tarp over him. You know. Look at this red four wheeler. He was eager up there already to get going, and then he is holding his cell phone and talking on the cell phone yet, you know? Man, oh man, some people, eh? They don't respect nothing. Yeah. We are fixing to make a pit stop here in Oklahoma City. Yeah. There's a petrol. Turn right on South Martin Luther King Avenue, and then turn right in 500 feet. Petro truck stop up here that I never been before to so I'm fixing to go check it out and fuel up. I need to fuel up the truck. We'll go down here and do that. Looks like they got a waffle house here across the street. Which I won't go to, but uh, some other people might. Just gotta wait till we got the green light. Doesn't really say that we can't make a right hand turn here on red, but I just prefer to do it on a green light most of the times. Alright, I guess the other guys can still continue going. But yeah, we're gonna go pull in here to this Pedro and we'll fuel up and take a shower. First, I was gonna go to the Flying J, but yeah, see they got an arrow there for turning lane, so it's a good thing I waited. Cop seeing me making a right-hand turn here, then I could have been in trouble, right? 
Keeping 400 feet, turn right on California Avenue and approach your destination on the left side in 700 feet. All right. Guess we'll go in here and see where we gotta go. Remember, guys, this is the first time I'm coming to this truck stop, so I don't know where to go. Approaching destination in 600 feet on the left side. Alrighty. Oh, we got the Petro building here, so. Oh, yeah, that's where we gotta go in and fuel up. That one says exit only. Well, fuel. I don't know why they got an exit only sign there. You when have it's arrived at your destination on the left side. Petro, Oklahoma City, number 316. Alright. Let's pull her in here. Go fuel her up. Yeah. Looks like that pump really close by there is open too, so. Go fuel her up and then. Uh, We got a four-wheeler parked in there. What the heck? Hopefully we can get out of here. <laughs> oh well, here we are. So there we go. Well, we'll go fuel up and then we'll see you guys in a minute. Well, guys, it's time to go have ourselves a shower. Much needed shower. It's quite humid and hot out here today, so time for a shower here we go guys we have just about spent enough time at the petrol had a shower filled up had a bite to eat now we gotta get over all the way over to the left lane up here oh boy that's gonna be hard in the half mile keep to the left on i-35 south us yeah because we gotta be uh over there on the the left lane to uh, make our exit there, you know, to go into uh, 35, you know. In a quarter of a mile, keep to the left on I-35 South US 62 West. Appreciate that our big truck. Let me in there, so that's good. Yeah, what you say, Ken? I was on a different line, different channel. Said appreciate it for letting me in. Yeah, no charge. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, I charge you a quarter. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to get in there, you know. People don't want to let you get in, you know. Well, looks like that motorcycle there on the other side has got himself a captured. Yeah, he captured somebody. Yeah, they seem to be uh, working really hard in this area. I wouldn't take my chances of going too fast through this town. Oklahoma City, I guess, needs the money. They're working real hard on this stretch. We so got about 212 miles to go to Dallas. Well, not, well, is that to Dallas? Yeah, I think that is to Dallas. Maybe that's to that truck stop. Let me have a look here. And yeah, that's to that uh, place where I deliver. Let's see, it's not that uh, much to uh, where my truck stop is, where I'm going to be spending the night at, so, yeah, let's have a look, let's see, RJ will tell me here in a second, It's cleared up, we got a nice sunshine, and it is actually really hot out here. Continue on this road for 156 miles. Yeah, we got 156 miles to go, and we'll be at that TA truck stop. So it should be there around 3.30, the GPS says. If I could make about a million bucks I wouldn't mind driving this truck But I've been running too hard For too little pain 
So I walked in the boss man's room Said I'm gonna need me a raise real soon And threw that big fat cigar This is what he had to say I can only please one person today And today ain't your day So get back in that truck And turn it around Yeah, that door you just walked through Swings both ways And I can only please one person today And today ain't your day Came in off of the road Told my honey I've been pulling a heavy load So could you bring me a drink While I hit the easy chair And the chrome on my truck needs shine It's out there in the driveway When you get time Then I heard her wailing As my keys came sailing through the air I can only please one person today And today ain't your day So get back in that truck Hey, and turn it around Yeah, that door you just walked through Swings both ways And I can only please one person today And today ain't your day I can only please one person a day, and a day ain't your day. Here we go. This is the casino I was going to show you guys earlier. And here we are. Voila! I thought I was going to go past this casino here on to the left. I was pretty certain I knew it was out here somewhere. But here it is. That is a huge, huge, huge casino. Yeah, just crossed the border into Oklahoma. We will be crossing into Texas here very soon. In the next few miles, that is. Actually, this is mile marker one right here coming up. So probably within the next two miles, we will be crossing into Texas. Are you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa, we are entering Texas right now. Well, here we go. Crossing border, entering Texas. Yes, we are officially in Texas, where they claim to be bigger. Everything is bigger in Texas, that's what they say. It says drive friendly the Texas way. All right. That's what it says on the Texas sign there. Wow. I love Texas. I love it. Beautiful state. Oh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Especially if you go into some of these back roads up here. My goodness, they got some beautiful trees and farmers out there. I love it. See, I grew up at a farm in South America. And so that's why I kind of am drawing to farms all the time. So at the odd time you'll hear me talk about the farmers getting a good crop or this or that, you know. And that's why I always think about the farmers, you know. I mean, if we didn't have the farmers out there, we wouldn't have anything to eat, right? Because all the tomatoes, everything is being grown by some kind of greenhouse or farmer, you know. I call them farmers, but whatever you know whatever you want to call them it has to be grown by somebody otherwise we wouldn't be eating it so anyways we are officially in texas we got 31 miles to go to our truck stop and i looked at it it's probably about 50 miles to our uh, delivery place where we got to deliver but uh you know, after I stop here, I, there really isn't that many truck stops out here after that, so 
parking spot over on that side but what I wanted to show you guys was uh, all these spots over here that you see where these posts are all of these ones over here you gotta pay to park over here where all those posts are all of those you gotta pay for them. I think the TA is getting a little greedy because there's not that much parking in here to begin with and I think they they just want to charge you like 15 bucks or 13 bucks or something like that for each parking spot in my opinion that's just getting a little greedy but that's just me let me know what you guys think in the comments down below alrighty guys we are done I finished putting together one video and it's uploading right now for you guys and uh, well I don't know if you won't be able to see it but there's actually a bunch of trucks parked on there already and there was a truck right here beside me earlier but he has also left and now I am really really worried that somebody is going to try and back in here and there's really not enough room because those guys are parked over there I am really worried about getting backed into but I guess just keep our fingers crossed that it ain't going to happen and uh, another thing that I was uh, going to talk about is one thing that I mentioned earlier right about all them paid parking spots well I went on their uh, on their app they have a Petro app I went on that and it actually says there's 150 spots up here and they actually charge for 50 of them I think that's just ridiculous I really do think it is ridiculous 
you want to have 50 spots that you want to charge for I mean I don't know where it's going with this world but uh, I mean we buy all this fuel from them we buy everything at the truck stop pretty much and yet you guys want to charge us here to sleep here overnight I mean if you had like maybe that's a 10 spots 15 spots there that was reserved for paying I could understand that you know I don't even think that Petra up there in Gary Indiana that really big one is I don't even think that they got more than 50 spots up there and they probably have 200 parking spots up there here comes another truck he's gonna attempt to uh, back her in here I don't know yeah, he, I think that's the same guy that was here earlier. I think he's just coming really close to uh, try and back her in here. Let's hope he can get in here so that way I'm safe for tonight, you know. So, I think I'm going to go get out and uh, help him back her in here. So, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. And thank you for watching. And uh, have a great day. behind me that day is gonna come